Welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial we're going to figure out how to create our own custom shelf, how to edit the shelf, and of course how to replace it with our own icons. So you can, uh, the main thing that's very complicated about Autodesk Maya is that there's all these tools that are in these drop down menus and it becomes quite tedious and sometimes problematic to find these different tools where they're located and so forth. The great thing about Maya is they have these shelves, which uh, by default there are several that are already set up. They're quite nice. You have your curves, your polygons, sculpting, rigging, animation shelf, and you just click on each one and it'll kind of tell you what it is. And then you have this custom shelf, which I've actually created and I've added some icons here. So I can click on the polygon cube here and poof, it appears here. I can add insert edge loop tool, which I have here. So I click and drag. I can add some subdivisions and then click out and then I can right click choose a face and then I can even click on the extrude tool and I can extrude out a section I can even click on the bevel tool and actually bevel that a little bit so you have all these options on the fly which is quite nice to have in your own custom shelf so how do you go about this how do you actually create it well first let's figure out how to add to our custom shelf because you automatically do get a custom shelf so anything that you want to put in here you guys simply uh, hit the control or sh and shift key together or the command and shift key on a Mac so for example if I want to create a polygon primitive and this time I want to add a prism in there all I gotta do is hold control and shift or again command shift on a Mac and voila it's there that simple so uh, to activate it Let's move this guy out of the way here. All I gotta do is click on it, and there it is. Pretty quick and easy. Now each of these little icons, I can actually middle click and drag them to reposition them anywhere I want. So again, it's hold down the middle mouse down, and then I can move wherever I want. So if I need to reorient them, uh, you can do that. And if you right click, you have other options. You can open the icon, edit, you can delete it. So you can just simply delete it if you don't want it very quick and easy. Now let's see if you want to create your own shelf. All I gotta do is come over here to the little widget icon here and click on it and right here it says new shelf in the options. They have load shelf, you can delete a shelf, save all shelves. Uh, there's a shelf editor here which will be we're gonna explore in just a sec. But let's create a new shelf first. So you click on that and give it a name. I'll just use my initials which uh, my name is James Kleckner so they'll use the initials JK and click OK. Now I have my shelf. Now I can again go to the create menu and again this can be anything uh, but I'll just use the polygons again. I'll do a sphere again control shift or command shift on a Mac to add that. Pretty quick and easy. Maybe I'll try something else. Maybe I'll go down to the extrude tool which is very popular. Again on the edit menu I'll hit control shift or command shift on the Mac and click on that. Now what if I don't like this extrude uh, icon here. What if I actually want to create my own? Well you have the ability to actually load that into Maya. Let me first show you the icon. I have Illustrator here and I actually just typed out the text uh, extrude and basically extrude it in 3D in Illustrator and uh, basically had a fill in a stroke uh, that basically has a light blue and a dark blue here. And then uh, this image size is 32 by 32 pixels so when I go file export, export as, uh, export as a PNG to the desktop. I'll click export. It says you want to replace it because I already have it. I'll click yes. And then in the options here I set it to 150 for the medium size. And then click OK. And you have a little preview here. And again it's set where you because it's PNG it already has alpha transparency built in. Click OK. So let's go back to Maya and let's see how to load this. All right, in Maya, here we have the extrude tool. It's already in here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the little icon here and go to the shelf editor and click on that. Once I do that, you can see all your shelves left on the left here. And the last one is the one I just created, which is JK, which has the extrude and the sphere. So I'm going to click on the extrude. In here, I can do things. For example, I could add a tool tip right now it says extrude the selected component that's what it says by default but I could say extrude uh, 
the sphere or something like that, or, or the face. Maybe I'll, I'll just make it face. Just so you could see that that'll change. Um, you can give icon colors and so forth here. Uh, you can change a custom background color if you want. But what I'm going to do is instead of using the default poly extrude fat face, I'm going to click on this folder icon and add my own PNG. Now you can use the Maya icons here. If you click on that, it'll open up the factory Maya icons. But this little folder icon basically will open up the window and it's just uh, popped up on my other display here. So I navigate to my desktop and choose that extrude.png. Click open and there it is right in here. So now I could save to all shelves and what that would do is all shelves would become the extrude with the new extrude. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to close out. And if you notice here on the custom shell, you'll see the original extrude and then on my shelf, the new extrude. So let's see that this works. Let's go ahead and right click, choose a face, select a face, click on the new extrude icon and voila, we now have extrude. So we can uh, basically add whatever items we want on to these custom shelves. You can uh, even add uh, windows. So if you open up the outliner a lot, you can add that on there or you could add Hypershade if you open up that a lot. So don't be afraid to think that it's just the, the tools that are just the things you can add to your shelves. You can pretty much add anything. You can add um, scripts. You can add all kinds of possibilities in the shelf. So like click on the outliner and on my opposite window here, again the outliner pops open. So have fun exploring the shelves in uh, Autodesk Maya. Until next time, cheers.